Hello, this is Nicole with Images of His Love by Nicole Rodriguez. Today I am doing a tutorial on how to use textures and overlays in Photoshop Elements 10. Once I have the image I want to edit open, I duplicate my background layer either by right clicking on that layer and choosing Duplicate Layer, or I press Ctrl J on my keyboard for a PC. I will be using textures from my Pastel Elegance collection and an overlay from my Spicy Overlay collection today. To place the texture on my image, I go to File, then I choose Place. Once the box pops up for you to choose your texture from, you will want to go to the folder in which you have your textures in. In this case, Pastel Elegance Textures is the folder I have my textures in that I want to use. And I'm going to choose Pink Elegance 1, Place, and then I stretch the texture to cover my entire image. And press the green check mark. Once that's completed, I pick the type of layer I want my texture layer to be. And in this case I want it to be screen and I'm going to adjust the opacity of the layer so that you can see the tulips beneath it. And I want to adjust the opacity to about 40 percent. I'm going to use my keyboard or you can do it this way. Whichever is faster and easier for you. To get the exact number I want, I usually use the keyboard. Next, I want to use Pink Elegance 2. That I go to File, Place, and I find Pink Elegance 2 in my Pastel Elegance Textures folder. And I choose Place. I stretch that layer to cover the entire image. Press the green check mark. Then for this layer I want to choose soft light as the type of layer. And I'm going to adjust my opacity down to about 48%. Oh, I got it. The last layer I want to use for this image will be pink, pink overlay from my Spicy Overlay collection. I go to File, Place, and I want to go to the Spicy Overlay collection folder. You'll go to wherever you have your textures saved. Pink Overlay, Place, and I stretch it. And the type of layer I want this layer to be is also soft light. And I want the opacity to be about 54%. Once I have finished placing the textures and overlays that I want to use on the image, I go down to the background layer and I right click on it and I choose flatten image. Then I have finished editing the image. If you wish to use actions on your image, you can do that before or after you apply your textures and overlays. It just depends on what look you want for your image. I do it both ways. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I wish you many blessings. If you would like to order the Pastel Elegance textures or spicy overlays, you can find them on my website at imagesofhislove.com. Thank you for watching and have a great day.